In Education Watch 10, the days are counting down until school starts in the Wabash Valley, but for some students, it can be a less than exciting time. Buying new school supplies is not a luxury for everyone. Some students simply can't afford it. But there's one Terre Haute man out to change that. News 10's Patsy Kelly found out what's behind his drive. Patsy, this is a really cool story. Mike Patrice tattoos and test taking. They are clearly nothing alike, but that doesn't mean they can't go together. I talked to one shop owner who's getting kids ready for school in his own way. Under the gun owner Dewan Ellington is gathering up school supplies, but not for himself. For lower income families who can't afford back to school products. He says this is really important to him because he's been there. I know what it was like to be one of the kids that couldn't afford the new stuff, using the same trapper keeper, the same book bags, the same backpacks, um, the same notebooks from the year before. Ellington is sending the supplies to the 14th and Chestnut Community Center. Every year, the center gives fully loaded backpacks to kids. It's hard enough sometimes just going back to school period, but if you don't have all the supplies that everybody else has, that just adds a double, doubles the trouble, you know. And uh, so we just want to make sure that uh, everybody's on equal footing when they hit the, the first day of school. You know, being able to give a kid new shoes, um, being able to give a kid um, new notebooks and pencils and pens, and they can walk into school and feel like they're at the same level as everybody else really makes a difference. These two men believe not having appropriate supplies like other children diminishes their performance. It's just part of having that self-esteem of, you know, being on an equal footing with everybody else. We, we, we make a real effort here to see that they're cared for. We're all in different circumstances and the economy has been so bad, you know, for the last five years or more uh, that there are just lots of people affected by this. Now the center anticipates giving out at least 200 backpacks fully loaded with supplies. Ellington says he will match the donations given to his shop. He'll also give donators a credit toward a tattoo in his shop. For more information about how and where you can donate, check out the story on our website, WTHITV.com. Back to you guys. Thank you, Patsy. What a fabulous story. Very nice. All right.